Good morning, neighbors. Let's then consider your ways. There is a fight. The fight is all inside you. It's in your mind. And it's all about your life. Through your fight, you get strong. Through your trials, he's given power. He said, carry my yoke, and I'll supply all needs. Consider your ways, because soon it will be over. Consider your ways, and have an open heart. ready for this hour he said carry my yoke and I'll supply all needs there is a way there is a voice to follow there is a road that you can walk in just have to obey all that he has given. He said, carry my yoke and I'll supply all needs. Consider your ways, cause soon it will be over. Consider your ways and have an Consider your ways, get ready for this hour, said carry my yoke, and I'll supply all needs. Consider your ways, cause soon it will be words of that song consider means to think very carefully you know sometimes we have to slow down and really take account kind of take inventory of ourselves where we're at uh, are we following the plan following the blueprint that God has provided us this song it comes from uh, I believe it comes from the book of Haggai because over and over Haggai is prophesying to them he's a prophet to consider your ways. To consider, they're living in a time when they're supposed to be rebuilding the temple. This is after the the the, temp, the original temple, Solomon's temple, has been destroyed. They've been in uh, captivity in Babylon, and who had destroyed the temple and brought them in. Now they're under Darius the Mede. Uh, and I thought this was interesting in Schofield's notes. Haggai was a prophet of the restored remnant after the seventy years captivity. The circumstances are detailed in Ezra and Nehemiah to hearten, rebuke, and instruct that feeble and divided remnant was the task of Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. The theme of Haggai is the unfinished temple and his mission to admonish and encourage the builders. So I think that's interesting. As a minister, you have to be able to both encourage the people and correct the people at the same time. Uh, it's easy to go one way or the other just to tell them everything is great, everything is good. Uh, kind of like when Jeremiah is uh, telling, you know, the other these other prophets are lying to you. They just want to encourage you and tell you, but it's really a lie. But there also has to be a word of encouragement as well to strengthen the people because if Haggai is just telling you a bunch of worthless people, you're not even listening, you know, they would never find the strength within themselves to rebuild the temple. 
but if he doesn't correct them as well, they're obviously he's saying consider your ways because you're just you're not even doing it. So there's got to be somehow this balance, and uh, it wasn't just going to be his voice either. It's going to have to be other voices to uh, help this feeble remnant, you know. And there's got to be something within us, Lord. We have to get the church back to the original. Uh, yeah, I have to. You have to encourage me, but you also have to correct me. You have to be able to do this. And if I just tell you this is my version of encouragement, uh, yeah. You know, that's just lazy. I have to figure out, Lord, how do I bring this to these people? So in Haggai chapter 1, uh, in the second year of King Darius, in the sixth month, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehoiadak, the high priest, saying, Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, This people says the time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. You know, so really they're saying, you know what, it's it's too hard, it's too difficult right now, let's just, it's just not time. Because we often obviously want everything in order, but I think about anyone who's built a house, I don't, I don't know, I've never built one, but there's going to be difficulties, there's decisions you have to make, and almost everybody says, whatever, they quote you, whatever you think it's going to cost to build, it's going to be more. You know, it's going to cost you something. Uh, and then, then the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet, saying, Is it time for you yourselves to dwell in your paneled houses and this temple to lie in ruins? Now, therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. So he's saying, Stop for a minute, think very clear, clear, care, very carefully and clearly. Okay, what are you doing? You're sitting there, you know, you're really concerned about your own homes and your own comfort and having everything in line there. Uh, and you're not even, the Lord's house is just in ruins. And we have to check ourselves sometimes, you know, I really, I will work myself to the bone to have nice houses, nice things, and there are all these things, but the word of God is some, you know, in the house of the Lord, it's really, you know, oh, no, 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 this is more, more what's more important, my, my comfort. It's, it's the same thing today. Uh, but the Lord is, you know, Haggai is prophesying, this is, came from the Lord. Now, therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much, and you bring in little. So basically, you plant, but the harvest isn't that great. Uh, you eat, but do not have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put into a bag with holes. You're just, everything, all this effort you're putting into it is just falling apart. It's kind of like, like I was saying a second ago. I'm really concerned about the beauty of my house, beauty of my yard, the beauty of all these things, and yet your grass keeps growing, storms come, destroy your house, shingles fall off, and all these things, and it just keeps going wrong because you're not really putting the focus on what it is. You're not being blessed. You're just like a hamster on a wheel. That says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. So that's the term again. Consider your ways. Go up to the mountains and bring wood and build the temple that I may take pleasure in it and be glorified, says the Lord. You looked for much, but indeed it came to little. And when you brought it home, I blew it away. Why, says the Lord of hosts, because of my house that is in ruins, while every one of you runs to his own house. Therefore the heavens above you withhold the dew, and the earth withholds its fruit. For I called for a drought on the land and the mountains, on the grain and the new wine and the oil, on whatever the ground brings forth, on men and livestock, and on all the labor of your hands." You're just never going to be blessed. You're always going to be struggling if you do not put stock in and, and kind of take stock stock of inventory. What are we doing? Are we doing this? Are we thinking very carefully what we're doing? And, uh, of course, when, when things, things are going wrong, they just keep continually putting all their effort in their own homes instead of the temple of the Lord where the Lord says, that I may take pleasure in it and be glorified. This is what's. This is why we're here to glorify the Lord. So, Lord, help us to stop and think very carefully and consider our ways in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.